ever wonder why some entrepreneurs seem to effortlessly scale their businesses while others struggle to keep up? What if I told you that the secret lies not in working harder, but in mastering the art of time as a currency for success? Let's delve into the intriguing world of entrepreneurial time management. Discover how to unlock your potential to maximize every precious minute. Let's get started. I don't know about you, but when I was in school, I was taught skills. And these skills were to help me land a position uh, and make a living. And that's what schools were for. And that is the traditional uh, layout of our education system, but it, it doesn't exactly work. Uh, for the entrepreneurial mindset. Because when you're an entrepreneur, you're looking how to solve problems. You're, you know, looking for your business to either provide a service, pr provide a product. Um, but basically the whole gist of all of that is to solve problems. So if we're talking about school and skills and how to solve problems, there's a disconnect. So when we're taught skills, we're taught to, you know, get a job with an employer and then our employer is going to tell us what they need us to do during the hours of our day. And they're going to pay us for the hours that we put in and we work to, you know, maybe solve some of their problems, but basically they're paying us to do a task. When you're an entrepreneur, now you're the boss and it's flipped and you may hire people to do certain tasks for you that, you know, are easy for other people to do, but give you the time and free up your time to do things that other people can't do for your business, like solve problems. So in the employee model, you're trading your time for wages. And the entrepreneurial model is leveraging your time as a currency to solve problems and drive revenue. So in the business world, there's a time paradigm, let's say, between being an employee versus an entrepreneur or freelancer. The employee perspective is trading your time for wages to fulfill the employer's needs. The entrepreneurial perspective is leveraging your time as a currency to solve problems and create revenue. So recognizing that time is a limited resource is a priority. You have to realize that you only have so much time. So let's look at this. If you have 24 hours in a day, but eight of those hours you're sleeping, and possibly three and a half of those hours are going to be, you know, cooking, uh, family, uh, eating, um, maybe just relaxing, uh, doing something, exercising, anything else that needs to get done, um, how many hours do you actually have left? Well, you have 12 and a half hours to work. And out of those 12 and a half hours that you actually would have to work, you have 
750 minutes. So you have to use those minutes to your greatest good, to producing the revenue that you need to have your business thrive and to continue and be able to pay employees. So what does that equal out to? Well, in hours, it's 4,562 and a half hours a year and 273, 750 minutes in the year. And this is all if you worked seven days a week. So how are you using your time? Are you using your time to generate the most profit for your business? Are you using your time wisely? Sometimes it's very wise to hire other people to do tasks for us so that it frees up our time to do things that are more important that other people can't do. And when you're thinking of hiring people and giving them a task to do, what's the ROI? What's the return on that investment? Are they completing the task in a timely manner? Is it freeing up your time where you're able to use your time to your business's benefit? You know, um, you can think of it this way. If you have a weekly meeting with all of your employees or people who help you and you spend an hour at that meeting, what is the ROI? What's it costing you to have those people in that meeting with all of their salaries? And are you getting the benefit from that meeting? Are you coming up with solutions that are going to drive the revenue further to make it worth having five, 10 people, maybe more, and their salaries sitting in a meeting? Or could a memo have been written and gotten the same task done? So you have to switch your mindset as an entrepreneur and consider time as a currency, as a currency, not only, you know, for you sell, yourself as an individual or, or other people within your businesses, but as revenue to create and drive your business and scale. So your time is a limited resource. And when you think of it that way, how are you using your time? Your time should be used for essential activities. And again, you're still deducting time for eating and sleeping, uh, commuting possibly. Um, you know, these things get in the way of your productivity uh, also, interruptions. I think I did a video on that. You know, interruptions from uh, family or issues in the office. I mean, there are interruptions that take your attention and your focus away from certain projects at times. So, if you are thinking about your time as a currency, you should also a lot that time to things that are going to be productive for you. And if they're not productive or, or sometimes there's things that happen that we can't change, that it, it is what it is. So why are we wasting our time? You know, don't waste your time thinking about those things because you can't change them. Another way to save you time you know, when you do have employees is yes, you hire them to do a skill, but you can teach them within that skill to do some of the problem solving 
for you or, you know, at the basic, at least give you their input and their ideas on how to solve the problem or drive the business or do better. And their input and their ideas could actually end up saving you more time. Your time is more valuable doing strategic planning and creating strategies and systems that will help your business and your team grow. So I'm gonna give you some hacks to uh, manage your time and get to those tasks that are priority and are priority for you to do as the owner of the business. Here we go. The first one is your productivity. And there are four areas that you should look at for productivity. And they are planning ahead, keep your focus, think carefully about a decision that you're about to make. Think about the prioritization. Is it something that you even need to decide on? Prior and prioritize the right activities. Maintain consistency in your schedule because it'll help you with your focus. And continually work at a regular pace. Number two, the energy and environment should be taken into account when slotting a task. Daily tasks should be categorized in three ways. The first category is your mindless task. These are simple things that you don't really have to think about, but just need to get done. So kind of like your to-do. Number two is your distracted tasks. These are tasks that if um, an employee or, you know, if you're working from the home, your children um, come up and interrupt you, that you can do easily and come back to. So they're, you know, maybe, yes, you have to think, but they're things that are done in steps, possibly, that you could come back to at a later time. The third category is going to be focused entailed tasks. Now, these are things that, you know, you definitely need to have time because these tasks need your full attention. So you need to set aside time where you can think and not be distracted. Number three is scheduling non-negotiable possibly personal appointments. These are things that you have to do, um, you know, maybe uh, discussing things with a customer. So these would take a higher priority and you would also need focus and, and certainly no distractions at this time. Number four, keep in mind when you're working with other people, um, not to get irritated and uh, aggressive with them. You know, they, they don't understand a lot of times that um, what your to-do list looks like and all the things that you're prioritizing. Um, also, if you could stay with a schedule when you're working with other people, they will get to know when there's a time not to interrupt you, that that is like, sacred time to get a certain important focused task done and it wouldn't be smart for them to interrupt you and then you know everyone will get to that point where they know that and you'll be able to have that specific time um, for your focus also if <clears throat> you have someone scheduling your time for you make sure that they know or take into consideration, you know, travel time from point A to point B um, of where you have to be. 
uh, that could ruin a schedule. Um, you know, especially even if on your way to where you want to go, uh, there's a detour or an accident. I mean, that just takes up more time and, you know, whoever you're meeting with, they're on a schedule as well. So we want to be respectful to other people and mindful of our time to get from point A to point B. Quit hard deadlines because there's things that happen and, you know, it's hard to always meet those deadlines. If you're going to make a deadline, make it reasonable for, for you and actually, you know, maybe add some cushion time so that, you know, people will get to know that they can respect your deadlines because you will meet them. But, you know, for yourself, add a bit of a cushion. Number six, don't forget to add unstructured time. Everyone needs time to be quiet, uh, clarify, and just de-stress. So make sure that while you're on your road to success, that you have some unstructured time in there where you can uh, freely do some meditation. Seven, take a break from technology. Technology is great. It really is. But, you know, go out, take a walk, clear your head, get away from the cameras and the, and the computers and the phones. <laughs> um, it will help you regroup and clear your mind and be more productive in the long run. Eight, be prepared for interruptions because they happen. Nine, put in a chain of command um, for communication so that every question isn't a question that you have to answer. That there are certain questions that other people in your office can answer for your employees. So basically so that everything is not your job and you'll have some peace of mind knowing that things will be moving forward even when you're not in your office. Number 10, automate as much as possible. If you can do email automation, that is always the best and even create some sort of a sales funnel. Perfect. Automate as much as possible. This way, when you're not in the office, things are still moving along. You're on vacation. Things are still moving along. 11. Don't resist change. Learn to pivot. Learn to go. You know, by resisting change, you may be resisting a great opportunity. 12. Make knockout lists. Make list of things that you, you need to get done in that certain day. Just easy things that can get knocked off. 13, productivity or efficiency. They're synonymous, but sometimes they get confused. Number 14, set your mind up for success. And in this video, we want you to think of the concept of your time as currency and as building equity in your business. By focusing in on success, it eliminates wasted time. So to start, you would want to concentrate, prioritize, pl plan what your day is going to look like ahead of your day. Or it could be just your system, you know, that you do things a, a certain time every day. And like I said, as you work that system, other people around you will get to know what they can expect from you. What, what matters is not how many hours you put in, but how much money you make within those hours. Number 15, become a batch master. Concept is to batch similar tasks together. You really need to start thinking of your time as an asset and an asset that 
you use to build equity in your business and that your time is the most, as the owner and as the entrepreneur of the business and the driving force, your time is the most valuable. If this video was useful to you, if some of the things I talked about today really made sense, please like and subscribe and, and share with other entrepreneurs that can find value in, in this conversation because we're all in, we're all here and we're all in this together. And, you know, we want to build strong businesses and we don't want to lose our minds doing it. So again, like, and subscribe and rethink the way you think of your time. Because in the end, time is money. See you again soon. See you again soon.